uh, good. Good evening, everyone, friends, and welcome to 1270 AM, 101.9 FM, WAIN Sports Radio, your home for the Adair County Athletic Network. Austin Armstrong alongside the Adair County Lady Indian softball team here at home today, and we are gearing up for Region District Action. Taylor County Lady Cardinals, coached by David Bradson. Play out a little bit of cloud, cloud coverage. That wind going from about about southeastish. If you are looking directly at the uh, baseball softball field today, and it is howling out here. Nonetheless, though, beautiful weather as we are gearing up for action here at home. Before we do get started, we'll be able to sell you. Thank you going out to all of our sponsors at Air County PVA, Landon Edwards, Bloomington Chapel Church, Barger Insurance, Lindsey Wilson College, Kentucky Sanitation, at Dare County Board of Education, Gis Construction, Docks Market, Pizza Hut in Columbia, Cumberland Pipeline, Columbia Pharmacy, Magic Market in Columbia, J.O. Gates, and the Atlanta School District. The folks being my stop. The County School District, they know that a community <laughs> It's the people who live, work, and contribute to making life better for themselves and people around them. That's why the Adair County School District is committed to providing the highest quality educational experience for their students. Again, your game night sponsor brought to you by the Adair County School District. Okay. Listening to us live here on the Infinity Sports Network. That's 1270 AM or 19FM CBS. Oh, you can scroll up. We're on our app and download that free of charge. Our apps are back up and better than ever. To take us on the go, all you have to do is search Columbia Radio by Fork, F O R C H T, on the App Store or Google Play Store. And of course, our app is free of charge. Again, that is Columbia Radio by Fork, F O R C H T, on the App Store or Google Play Store. And again, that app is. Streaming. Check us out on YouTube. That's W-A-I-N Radio on YouTube, where we'll have the live video and audio coverage of this game. Thank you to the wonderful folks at First and Farmers National Bank for being our streaming sponsor. Thank you. That is reliably simple. Check out all of their services on their website, firstandfarmers.com. And I'm coming to you live from the broadcasting booth. That broadcasting booth brought to you by TJ Regional Health. With 20 locations, TJ Regional Health promotes and provides for the health of the communities they serve, TJ Regional Health. Our streaming booth, our streaming booth brought to you by the Tim Hardwick Franklin Nissan family. The Don Franklin family dealerships works daily to provide you with the best experience possible while finding the right vehicle for you and your family. And be sure to visit the website. That's darnfranklinauto.com. We're going to have the national anthem. That's going to be brought to you by the wonderful folks at Bloomington Chapel Church. They extend a warm invitation to everyone to join them for worship and fellowship. Bloomington Chapel Church opens its doors every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. for a powerful worship service. Come back again on Sunday night at 6 p.m. for an uplifting evening spiritual rejuvenation. Rejuvenation. We're going to skip that word today. And don't miss out on their Wednesday night Bible study at 6 p.m. You will rotate that if you thought good. And spot to bring this broadcast here on your home for WAIN Sports 1270 AM 119. We are going to take a 30 second break and we come back. We'll set the stage of Derek County versus Twitch. You're listening to your home for the Derek County Natural Network 1270 AM 119 FM WAIN Sports Radio. No. This is Matt Lloyd, United Citizens. Although I'm very proud of all the products and services we've got. 
you have to offer is good and old fashioned customer service. It may seem like banking is moving to smartphones and computers. And while we can do that too, we don't think anything can replace a firm handshake and your confidence in our work. When you think personal service, thank you, CB. Citizens Bank, Equal Housing Lender, and your FDIC. Good evening, Indian fans, and welcome back to your with the address on the Athletic Network, 1270 AM, 101.9 FM, WAIN Sports Radio. Alton Armstrong alongside the Adair County Lady Indian softball team here at home as we gear up to take on the Taylor County Lady Cardinals. That's going to be taking place here in about eight more minutes, but which they will go ahead and set the stage for you. Adair County Lady Indians coached by Beth Beach in her first season of coaching, 5th Region, 20th District, 2-13 and 13 on the season, 1-4, and 0-2 oh and two in the district. Adair County winning one of their last, last five, that win coming over Hart County with a huge 11-7 Adair County on the offensive side will be led by number 20, Racing Dress, with 13 game good. It's 12 runs, 13 hits, 5 RBI, 2 doubles, 3 triples, 2 home runs, and only 6 strikeouts, averaging a 394 on the season. Could be followed up behind that to be number 8, Willie Wall, with 33 advanced, 7 runs, 8 non hits, 8 RBIs, 2 doubles, 2 home runs, and only 3 strikeouts on the season, averaging a 273. Adair County offensively averaging a 239 batting average, 314 at bat, 66 runs, 75 hits, 53 RBIs, 10 doubles, 6 home, nope, 6 triples, 4 home runs, 30 million walks, 80 strikeouts, and being added. But Derek Kelly can elect to go with Keelan Bergen today in the ring. This is going to be her first start of, uh, start of the season so far. She does have eight games under her belt, but has been the relief pitcher so far for the Indians. She's coming in with eight innings pitch, 8.2 innings pitch, 24 hits, 27 runs, three walks, five strikeouts with an ERA of 17.7. Look at the lineups a little bit later. Go to soft. How their season is. Coach Region 20 of Driftrips, third in the fifth region RPI system from the CHSAA, 12 and 5 on the season, 3 and 1, 3 for 20. Lady Cardinals from the Red, Taylor County. Lady Cardinal is going to be led by offensively by Aubrey Barden with a 444 average, 12 games, 36 at bats, two runs, 16 hits, 10 RBIs, two doubles, and only two strikeouts. Falling up behind Aubrey is going to be Malia Reed, number 24, with 39 at bats, 12 runs, 14 hits, seven RBIs. Four doubles, three triples, two home runs, and averaging a 359 on the season. Twelve walks. <laughs> One ERA so far. We're gearing up to take national. We're gearing up to the national anthem. I do believe. So we are going to take a two-minute break. When we come back, we'll have first pitch action. Again, the National Anthem brought to you by Bloomington Chapel Church. Be sure to stop by, check them out at 55 Denton Road. Bloomington Chapel First, right since you with open arms, we'll be back with the National Anthem. You're listening to your home for the American Anthem Network, Fest and the and one of them after the WAI in Sports Radio. You can rethink your property. Look no further than Gist Construction. Located now in the room, 310. That's for all you need. To want to speak through him, even water and sewer. Top night, more service, and come heat the slicing. Too much food. Too fucking good. Too fast. Too fast. Too fast. This is Tim Hartle with Franklin Nissan, and everybody knows that April Shelley. Mm -hmm. With a new new human. That's right. We've got deep to do it and don't care of you. Got your coverage. Free on for the same recording this week. Call us, come by, reach out any way you can. 
from Nissan, John Frank on Auto.com, 270 Compensation free anytime, day or night. Get on over to Magic Martin on Will Walker Road in Columbia. The mouth watering lineup featuring the famous Hunt Brother Pizza. And you the best car. With all the toppings you frequently know us. Don't indulge in the breakfast menu. Continue this house. This is a great meat. Magic Market, where every bite is a flavor adventure. Attention, Jared's owner. Are you tired of unfamiliar delicious and long wait times? Look no further than Columbia Farms. Columbia Pharmacy, Lily of Pitcher Driven. Friendly staff, drenching this fall, and you welcome you with a smile. But that's not all. Introducing our Flavor RX machine with a vast selection of flavors to make no sweet time and breeze to your kids and kids. Visit us today on Berkshire Street from the screens to have beans and flavor that only Columbia Pharmacy can survive. Join the JLG family of farmers and ranchers across the U.S. Your round pins are trusted day in and day out. Now, exclusively from JLG, they introduce a new feature, the powder coat option. Elevate your round pin and farm you. Dark green, red. Available for a small upcharge. Whether you opt to keep it powdered or down the last coating, they are delicate in ensuring you purchase it perfectly since you need it. Hobby admission office at 270-384-8100 or email us at admissions at lindu.edu. Kentucky Sanitation Center. They have container that can hit basement or for a large demolition project. Well, 6-4-4-6-7. Check them out on Facebook at Kentucky Sanitation Services. Hi, this is Pittman. Wilson College student. I'm well on my way to earning a degree in secondary education. At LWC, I've met new people, become involved on campus, and I have loved being part of the sports programs. Visit today, and you will want to make Lindsey Wilson College your new home, too. Call the admissions office at 270-384-8100 or email us at admissions at lindsey.edu. Cumberland Pipeline is an underground utility contractor primarily concentrating on water and sewer pipelines and pump stations for municipal water and wastewater districts. The company is rooted in faith and is committed to providing a quality service to their clients with honesty and quality projects. Owls on water mains. Dirt work, site work, and land clearing. Visit the website CumberlandPipeline.com for more information. Bad hair day, bad day at the office, bad day behind the wheel. Hey, stuff happens, even to the best of us. At least your car insurance rate doesn't have to take a hit. Get Erie Rate Lock from Erie Insurance. Gives you a great rate that stays put until you change a car driver or your address. Plus, seriously good service. Now that. Your Erie agent in color. Can see, get it quoted. In fans, and welcome back to your home for Derrick County Athletics, 1270 AM, 101.9 FM, WAIN Sports Radio. Hope everybody's having a fantastic evening so far. Austin Armstrong alongside the Derrick County Lady Indian softball team here at home as we gear up to take on the Taylor County Lady Cardinals. Your thumbs out in the field. In the ring again. Okay. 
check your joints and flexors with them. Don't you know? Body line up to the tip of the block. Friends and Bear County gearing up here in the next couple of minutes as we are warming up and getting ready for action here on the Kenton Southern Hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Come on out, join us. Still plenty of time. Last first pitch getting ready to happen here on the campus of Bear County High School. We are ready to go as for all the shortstop to Taylor Cooper and Grace and the batter's box. We're the we like the history for it. They're showing us to be Bergen. Bergen. Looks like the play. Here we go. Are you warning? Are you going to take your sign? Are you going to stay on such a one? Wines and Jewels, swing up. Get the ball out in left field. I'm going to be in your left shoulder, show a girl tonight. Just get on for a count and bring it in. Yeah. We're riding in turn three out there. Easy pickings for her. And there's my secure the first out here in the first inning. You have to look for the rich and zoom to this one. Make sure. Bergen going to wind and deal. The miss just barely on the outside. Count's going to go 1 0 here. Bergen going to take her side, step back onto the rubber. She's going to wind and deal. I want to be down and inside. Count's going to go 2 0 here. Edwards back in the burning wood. For the catcher looking down the middle of the fight, and he's trying to go up as a front. Let's see one in here. Three balls, one strike. Edwards is going to step back into the batter's box for the Lady Cardinals. Bergen's going to wind and deal, going to swing. That one's going to be popped up. It's going to go behind us, out of play. Count's going to go full up, 3 2. Big pitch right here for Bergen. Edwards back into the batter's box for Taylor. Bergen taking her sign. She's going to wind and deal. The catcher looking on the bottom corner plate. And that's going to be out number two of the inning. Fantastic job by Bergen there. Realizing that was a huge out. And he buckled in and caught it on the corner of the plate. And uh, it, it looks like Edwards really wanted to walk. And uh, Bergen wasn't afraid to challenge her with the strike. That pitch going to be down and dirty. Count's going to go 1-0 here. What about now going to be number 11, Dubson, for the Taylor Lady Cardinals, the first baseman. Bergen going to wind and deal for the Lady Indians. Swing and a high fly ball. It's going to go behind us out of play. Count's going to go 1-1. That last strikeout brought to you by Cumberland Pipeline. Cumberland Pipeline boasts the team and expertise to handle any size of underground facility contract with precision and efficiency. If you need a project done right, give them a call at 270 The line and deliver is going to miss down low. Count's going to go 2 1 here.
Suwe here in the top of the first inning. Burton going to wind. That ball going to be hit up out in no man's land in center field. Ellie Cheatham able to get a glove on it, but not able to secure it. That ball just uh, kind of well-placed. That wind kind of taking it and filling it up in the sky and just dropping it down. And again, to no man's land behind second wave. Ellie Cheatham, unfortunately, not able to get there. Able to get the glove on it, not able to secure it. So it's going to put a runner at first for the Lady Cardinals. Coming up about now to the end of 24, Reed, the right fielder. Third, you're going to wind and deliver. It's going to miss on the outside of the plate. Third, you're going to wind Top of the first inning, the count 1 0 2 away. Taylor County has a base runner on first. Bird, you're going to wind and deliver a hard hit ball. Pass is short. Trump going to make its way out into the left field. Base runner only going to be able to make it to second, though. Just a well-placed ball by Reed, and that will advance the base runner from first to second. Base runner is now on first and second for the Taylor County Lady Cardinals. Coming up now to be the DP in the well for the Lady Cardinals. Bergen, number 17 for the Indians on the rubber. Two-way. Wines and deals. That one's going to miss the mark down low. Going to be able to block up on it. It's going to be number 20, Gist. Keeps the base runners from advancing. Base runners still going to hold it first and second. Count's going to advance to 1 and 0 here. Again, join us over on YouTube. That's WAIN Radio on YouTube for the video and audio coverage of this game. You can smart cast that to any of your smart TVs or smart devices as well. Bird going to wind, deal, swing and miss. Strike one. Count's going to go 1 1. Again, number 17, Bergen in the ring for the Indians, assisted with I guess behind the plate. The pitch gonna miss down and in. Count's gonna go two one. Two balls, one strike. Number 12, K is going to step back into the batter's box for the Lady Cardinals, a right-handed batter. The pitch, swing, and a hard hit ball to third base, able to knock it down and keep it in the infield. Trace trying to really get on first securely. Good news, though. As I said, that ball was blocked, knocked down, and saved that run from second scoring. So, base is now loaded for the Taylor County Lady Cardinal. We got two away here. Coming to bat now is number eight, Bradstreet, the second baseman. Bergen going to step on the rubber. She winds and fields. The catcher working on the field. She misses on the outside of the play. Count's going to go 1 0. We're going to take her sign. She wants to deal with the glitch from the Latino here. There's any two way. There's how many left runners on all three here. Virgin Wines and Bills. And this happens over 3 0. That one's going to miss high. That's going to be ball number four. And the batter will make her way down to first. And that will score the first run for the singular shot into the 80s hard ones. Return to Ford Curry, the catcher for your Taylor County Lady Cardinals. Faces are loaded two away. Tom the first. Bergen taking her sign from the dugout. She's going to wind and deal the pitch. That one's going to miss down. Count's going to go 1-0. Curry, a right-handed batter for the Lady Cardinals.
Third in the pinch. It's going to catch her looking. Count's going to move to 1 1 here. The count 1 1, 2 away. Base runners on all three for the Lady Cardinals. Bergen going to bring it for the Indians. Swing and a hard hit ball. That is going to go foul, though. Count's going to advance to 1 2 here. That pitch just a little bit ago was a huge one for Bergen. This one just as big, if not bigger, as the count is one and two. Taylor County has started a little bit of a lead here with one run on the board. Bergen going to need to see if uh, she can stop that bleeding here with strike three and out number three to get them out of the top of the first inning. Bergen going to wind and deal, swing, and a hard hit ball. That one's going to be foul. <laughs> A little bit of confusion out on the field. Taylor County head softball coach going to say that the glove was, or the ball was tipped by the glove of the Adair County Indian third baseman. Like I said, the initial call was a foul ball. The Blues are going to meet up out in the infield. I got a feeling that it's probably not going to get overturned and it's just going to remain as a foul ball. Obviously, at the high school level, no instant replay or anything of such. Head umpire going to go have a conversation with the Taylor County head softball coach. We're here in the top of the first inning. Bear County taking on Taylor County. And it looks like the call will stand. As I said, kind of hard to overturn something along the lines of that without instant replay. I uh, don't believe the umpire out of the field had the greatest eye on it, maybe. So, with that being said, the uh, call's going to remain, and the count's going to stay at 1-2. Swing and a hard-hit ball behind second base. Coming in is Ellie Cheatham, and actually, the second baseman actually will be able to sneak over there and grab that one. That's going to be Gimp for the out number three of the top of the first. Indians able to hold up uh, the base runners on all three for Taylor County, only allowing one run in the top of the first. We're going to make our way to the bottom of the first. Going to be leading it off for Derrick County. Going to be Gist, Bergen, and West. All that and so much more when we come back here on your home for the Derrick County Athletic Network, 1270 AM, 101.9 FM, WAIN. And sports radio. <laughs> Dogs Market is a Shell-branded store open to feel your vehicle and your body. Located on Camelsville Road, Dogs Market serves breakfast, lunch, dinner, and even has soft-served ice cream. Check out their huge menu with items like roasted chicken, burgers, chef salads, and many specials. You can see their full menu on their Facebook page. That's Dogs Market on Stay up-to-date on the latest specials. Dogs Market, food, fuel, and family. Columbia Pizza Hut prices are absolute trash. That's why we offer coupons, deals, and a reward program. Get two medium one-topping pizzas right now for 14 bucks. Plus, I want to get one free. Personal Pam One Topping is seven, but on our lunch special, you can get a personal Pam One Topping and a drink for six dollars. Can I get a one? This is Matt Lloyd with United for the best thing we have to offer is new and old fashioned and customers. Shape in your confidence and I work. When you think personal service and filter, United Citizens Bank, in two thousand under your FDIC.
on and uh, just a sec. No, it's not to now one's one is going to tip and everybody it's on it. That one's going to be running up on the inside of the place of the guy for the price of the size of the old city here. Let's see. Let's see. Twenty three strikeout three two on season with a four point oh one ERA. The fields will be way outside from the mm -hmm. We're here in the bottom of the first inning. Taylor County leading this one one zero on the Indians. The pitch will be down in the dirt. Count's gonna go full up here. Indians in a great position right now as they're threatening to score with a base runner on third. Have another base runner at first. West going to step in. She swings a hard hit ball over to the second baseman. She's going to gobble that up, go to first, but that will also score a run for the Indians. Going to knot it up at one. Bad now the Indians pitch hard hit ball down third baseline going to gobble it up go over first she's going to call guys are gone pitch from second to third had a little bit of hesitation in my voice because I've seen that one from a while away yes her foot did come off and yes that allows a Miss Wall to stay down there at first base base runners now at first and third for the Indians only one away here. Going to have another discussion out in the. Oh no, I don't know about that one. I, mm, either way, they're going to call her out at first. I don't know if I agree with that one, but it is what it is. And you advance base runner from second to third, looking for a well placed ball in the outfield to score another run here. Coming to bat now, going to be White. The swing and a miss, strike one. I feel we're all alone. I just short stop that. <laughs>
top of the second inning for Taylor. Wow. Thank you, property. Look, no thriller than just construction. Look, you have no idea where the freak and where the infidelity is going to be. Job for honor, man. Lots of things in the key water and sewer lines. So, who comes to me? Good afternoon, Indians, and welcome back to Slugs in the AM 1019 Hats Down, the middle of the first radio, your home for the Adair Family and Planet Network. And we're in the top of the second, all knotted up at once. Coming up to bat now for the Lady Cardinals, going to be number 20. That is Cundiff, the third baseman. No. Cundiff, the third baseman for the Lady Cardinals. Right-handed batter versus the Indians right-handed pitcher, Bergen. High fly ball over in third base territory, and it's going to float out of play. Count's going to go 0-2 here. Right field, Ryan, right, center field, Cheatham, and left field, Riley. The pitch, off speed pitch, going to miss high. Count's going to go 1 2. Bergen going to take the orders from the dugout. She's going to check the band. She's going to step on the rubber, wide and deliver, swing, and a hard hit ball out into the left field. And it's going to get down in no man's land. And the base runner will hold up at first for the Lady Cardinals. <laughs> Come to bat now. Lady Cardinals. The base runner on first for Taylor County. We're here in the top of the second inning. Third inning going to wind and deal the pitch. Flexes the bunt, pulls it back. Going to miss the mark, and she's going to get the bunt back in time. Going to be rung up as a ball. Count's going to go 1-0 here. Bergen winds and delivers, flexes another bun. It's up in the air, and no one able to get to it. They're going to get down to first. They're going to call her safe there. The ball's going to go to second, get by, and make its way into the outfield. Base runner will hold up at second, though. So, unfortunately, nothing happening there for the Lady Indians. Base runners now at first and second for the Lady Cardinals. Here. Now, it's going to be the top of the lineup, do we? Correction, Clayton, number five, the center fielder. Selects a bunt, lays it down. It's going to go down third base line. Bergen's going to miss the handle. It's over the third. Nothing's going to be happening there. 
and Taylor County able to advance the runners around with two perfectly placed months. Come to bat now, going to be number 21, Edwards. Burton going to wind and deliver hard hit ball past the shortstop. That's going to score one, possibly two. Cheatham going to get into the relay. The relay going to hold it up at second. And that's going to put two more runs on the board for Taylor County. <laughs> Just like that with two perfectly placed bunts and one well hit ball to shortstop. Lady Cardinal able to capitalize on that with a two run effort here in the top of the second inning. It's going to leave base runners on second and third. You have no outs here. Coming up to bat now is going to be number 11, Gupton. Going to step back onto the rubber. She's going to wind and deal. High fly ball behind at second base. Back, 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 and able to is Kemp. She's going to get the ball into home plate, but no bell as the runner will tag up and score for Taylor County. Yeah, so the first out of the inning is secured, but unfortunately, Taylor County able to capitalize off of with the that's half person. Number four, they are trying to leave this one four to the ground here. Second, third, and fourth. 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 For count 0-1, swing and a hard hit ball over to West. She's going to check the runner at second and not make that attempt at first. How did she? Show number 12. That, that apparently that she was able to snag up off the ground. Going to be rung up for an out. I do apologize. I thought that ball had bounced and kind of. Locked off a little bit here with the window and the fencing pole. Kind of didn't get to see that, but she's able to snag that one up. It's here for out number two of the inning. Turning with a wind and deliver. That one's going to go back out of play. Count's going to go 0-1. Oh, and the batter's box is K's. The DP for the Lady Cardinals. Lady Cardinals have a base runner at second. The count's 0-1 here. The play two away. Hard hit ball out in left field. Back, 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 and over the head of Riley. It's going to get against the fence. That will score one run. That ball's going to come all the way into third and hold the base runner at second. Just a hard hit ball by Case. Able to score another run for the Lady Cardinals here in the top of the second inning. Taylor County 5, Adair County 1. That scoreboard update brought to you by Adair County PVA. Landon Edwards, Landon in the PVA office, has been longtime supporters of Adair County Athletics and proudly serve the community of Adair County. Visit the website at adairpva.com. Coming to bat now, going to be Bradstreet, the second of this one for Taylor County. Birding going to wind and deliver. Going to be a hard hit ball to the shortstop off the foot, and it's going to make its way out to the left field. That base runner going to make its way all the way from second across the home plate and score another run for the Lady Cardinals. Taylor County Lady Cardinals, they will to put up five here in the top of the second inning. The score six to one. Taylor County leading this one over Adair County. Base runner at first, two away here. Coming up now is going to be Curry, the catcher. Burton going to take her sign. She steps onto the rubber. She's going to wind and deliver. It's going to catch her on the outside of the plate for a strike. Count's going to go 0 1. Burton going to wind and deliver the pitch. Going to miss on the inside. Count's going to go 1-1 here. Bergen with 44 pitches under her belt already. Two innings in. 
Curry in the batter's box for Taylor County. That one's going to miss up and out. Count's going to go to one. Curry 0 for 1. The count 2 1. Base runners at first for the Taylor County Cardinals. Hard hit ball down the third baseline. Going to go into foul territory. The count 2 2. Again, our game night sponsor, the Adair County School District. A huge thank you and to the Adair County School District for sponsoring the Adair County High School baseball and softball season. That ball going to be down the dirt. Going to have a throw down to second. Going not in time, and they're going to call her safe. Still a great job by Gist, able to scoop that ball up out of the dirt and was able to make the throw down off of the knees. Um, you know, wasn't wasn't in time, but it was still a fantastic play by her. We're going to set for the she's going to wind and deal hard hit up down for the base. Oh no. Count's going to remain. Here in the top of the second inning, the count 3 2, got two away. Base runner at second for the Lady Cardinal. <laughs> Burden going to wind and deliver for the Indians. That one's going to get by Gist on ball four. So the batter will make her way down to first on ball four, and the base runner will advance from second to third. Going to have a pinch runner for How Taylor County. Right now it's going to be number 20, Cundiff. Lady Cardinals. Got runners at the corners. Two away here. Kind of one for one on the night so far. Certain going to wind and deal hard. Hit ball. That's going to foul out. Count's going to go 0 1. <laughs> Cundiff's going to step back into the batter's box. Right-handed batter versus the right-handed pitcher, Bergen, for the Indians. The count 0-1, two away here. Runners on the corners. The pitch, hard hit ball to Hannah West. She's able to knock it down, gets it up, goes over to first base, over the head of the first baseman, Brown. It's going to get against the fence, going to score two runs, going to have an action play here at home. Nothing happening there. Going to call the runner safe. And just like that, Taylor County able to throw up a couple more runs on the board. Taylor County leading this one 8-1 to one over the Indians here in the top of the second. That base runner was able to make her way all the way over to second in that chaos here at home. We have two away. Coming up to that now going to be Clayton for the Lady Cardinals. One for one on the season so far on the night. Pitch, slow roller over to Hannah, able to get a glove on it. She's going to wing it over first, and that's going to secure it for out number three of the inning. But not before the Taylor County Lady Cardinals able to throw seven up on the board here in the top of the second. We're going to make our way to the bottom of the second. Adair County falling behind in this one. Going to need a huge inning here in the bottom of the second. Taylor County leading 8-1 to one over your Lady Indian softball team. You're listening to your home for the Adair County Athletic Network, 1270 AM, 101.9 FM, WAIN Sports Radio. <laughs> You know it. Armistice, we are in the room. 
In this sense, anything too tall, you need up and you need a small. But that's not all. Introducing our Flavor RX machine with a vast selection needed to make medicine time a breeze for both kids and kids. Visit us today on Berksville Street and experience the convenience and care that only Columbia Pharmacy can provide. Good evening, Indian fans, and welcome back to 1270 AM, 101.9 FM, WAIN Sports Radio. Austin Armstrong alongside the Adair County Lady Indian softball team here at home, taking on the Lady Cardinals of Taylor County. First pitch, swing, and a slow roller down to third base. Going to try to beat it out at first, not able to do so, and that will be out number one for the inning as that was Brown at the plate for the Indians. Yep. We're here in the bottom of the second inning. Adair County trailing this one to the Taylor County Lady Cardinals, eight to one. And we have one way here. Come up with that. Edwards going to wind and deal for the cards. That one going to catch corner. Count's going to go 0 1. Again, Edwards in the ring for the Lady Cardinals. That pitch going on to catch the corner of the third. Strikeouts this year brought to you by Cumberland Pipeline. Here's another reason it's here. Cumberland Pipeline is a proud support of Adair County Athletics. They stand alongside our community, fostering growth and success on and off the field. Pointed that now, going to be turned uh, the pitch, going to miss up high. Count's going to go 1 0. Situation, we got Campbell at bat right now for the Indians. On deck, number 23, Riley. Off speed pitch, going to miss on the inside. Count's going to go 2 0. The pinch, swing and miss, strike one. Campbell going to take her place in the batter's box. Edwards going to take her place in the ring. She winds and deals. Great job by Campbell on laying off that one. A high speed or um, off speed pitch that missed high. Count's going to go 3 1 here. Pitch swings, tips that one off. Count's going to remain the same. No count's going to go 3 2. Correction. Campbell back into the batter's box. The pitch. Blooper over the first base. Oh, what a snag by Gupton at first base for the Taylor County Lady Cardinals. And she's able to sidestep, throw that glove up there, and secure that one for out number three of the inning. That's going to wrap up the bottom of the second. We're going to make our way to the top of the third. Actually, before we uh, do some of the back, we'll actually just keep it here and run through the look of our sponsors. And they're currently trailing this one to the Taylor County Lady Cardinal here in the top of the third inning, 8-1. to one. Again, a huge thank you going out to all of our sponsors, Landon Edwards, Adair County PVA, Bloomington Chapel Church, Press, Grace Wellness, Barger Insurance, Lindsey Wilson College, Kentucky Sanitation, Adair County Board of Education, Gifts Construction, Docs Market, Pizza Hut in Columbia, Cumberland Pipeline, Columbia Pharmacy, Magic Market in Columbia, JL Gate, Where's the High School District. But the only thing I sponsor really the thoughts about the Adair County School District and know that a community dorm is out the buildings and street. It's the people who live, work, and contribute to making life better for themselves and the people around them. That's why the Adair County School District is committed to providing the highest quality educational experience that is possible. Your game night sponsor for the entire season of baseball and softball coverage here on 1270 AM, 101.9 FM, WAI Sports Radio, brought to you by the Adair County School District. Later on YouTube, that's WAI and Radio on YouTube, brought to you by the wonderful folks at First and Farmers National Bank. Banking that is reliably simple. 
check out all of their services. First in farmers, and the first in farmers.com, and of course, and how to laugh out of the uh, stream. So that is brought to you by Tim Hardwick, Franklin Nissan. John Franklin, then the dealership for daily. They love to do with the best experience possible while finding the line of vehicle for your family. Then the website of FranklinAuto.com. Of course, I'm coming to you live from the block after you please. Brought to you by TJ Regional Health. The 20 year old TJ provides the health and wellness of the communities they serve. TJ Regional Health, total care. We're set for the top of the third inning here. We're going to have a pitching change for the Indians. We're going to have Ellie Cheatham entering in the ring for the Indians. She's going to again be assisted by Gist for time to play. Coming up to bat for Taylor County is going to be Sprouse. The pitch, in and down, counts going to go 1 0. So far, cheetah line here. I'm going to go to the first place on the down. Go to the line. Cheetah moves eighth for sign, checks the wristband, steps back on to the rubber. The count one one here, no out, top of the third inning. Lines and deals, hard hit ball to the shortstop. Wanted to get a hold of it, send it over to first in the dirt, not able to scoop it up and make a play out of it. So the runner is safe. Now that is Coming to bat now, going to be number 21, Edwards. Sure, when you're able to let the right, left, right, to around and out door from the left to the right, Riley, Bergen, and Wall. Good. So the next corner is outside. Counts going to go 0 1. So we have a gauge from her and already links in the battery box for the lady farm. So right hand is a foul in the first in the right hand of the pitcher, Ella Cheatham for the Indians. She's a wide and zero. This Marston's going to go one million games. Neil. Well, that can be a hard hit ball down third base slide, but we'll go foul. Towns going to remain going with one two here. Taylor leading this one over the Indians, 8-1 here in the top of the third inning. That scoreboard update brought to you by Derrick County PVA, Landon Epler, a proud supporter of the Derrick County Athletics. So we can wind the deal on the ball right back at Alex. We'll be able to snag it up and then get it over the first for out number one. That's the any Great job by Ellie's 15 minutes after the first of those two side one night. Please don't know if you're going to get trapped in the third. Please be getting this one one away here, top of the third inning. Ellie Chu wants to take her sign. She had the base runner at second behind her. She's going to wind and deal. It's going to be in and low. Count's going to go 1 0. Ellie Chu going to wind and deal. Cubs in going to take that one. Count's going to go 2 0. The 
bitch. And Miss G, that's on the outside. Rio. Very big uh, pitch right here for Ellie Cheatham and the Indians. 3-0, base runner at second already for the cards. That one's going to be a ball, and the batter will advance down to first. Number 24, Reed for your Taylor County Lady Cardinals. Sets the scene for you. Lady Cardinals add first and second. Ellie Cheatham on the rubber for the Indians, assisted behind the plate by, with Gist. That pitch, but cast the outside of the play, rings up for a strike, counts them to go 0 1. Ellie Cheatham having a with some really great luck with that outside pitch. Really just needs to try to stick with it uh, and then change up the variations to high, low, and just kind of work the outside of that plate because the umpire definitely giving it to her tonight as far as that pitch. And uh, hopefully that one's going to be way outside, counts them to go 1 1. Really need to try to capitalize on that and uh, limit the runs here in the top of the third inning. Reed going to step back into the batter's box for the Taylor County Lady Cardinals. Cheat on for the winding deal. Hard hit ball behind us. Counts going to advance to 1 2 here. Probably cheat them up on the batter. I'd expect a pitch probably either off speed on the inside or the heater on the outside way out. Uh, so that one's going to be fouled back. Better not. She had uh, some catch interference, maybe. I'm not sure. Cam's going to remain 1-2. There was the all speed pitch on the inside. Nothing happening there. Count going to go up to 2 2 here. So, brought the heater on the outside. Able to foul that one back. Brought the all speed on the inside. That one was a ball. Let's see what Ellie Cheatham does for the third pitch here with a 2 2 count. That's going to be a slow roller out to the shortstop. Going to have a little bit of fumble and not able to make the play over at first. Base runners will advance as well. So now you have base runners on full up, actually. Now the number 12 plays for your Taylor County Lady Cardinals. Base runners on first, second, and third for the Lady Cards. Got one away here. She's going to take her sign. She's going to get back into the rubber. She's going to wind the deal. That one's going to miss on the out and low. Count's going to go 1-0 here. The count 1-0. Ellie cheating back onto the rubber. She winds and deals. That one's going to be down low. Count's going to go 2-0. Number 12, please. For the Lady Cardinals, she's 0 for 2 tonight so far. After showing her and just like that, El Chilo able to bounce back here on K's at the plate with a full count. Very important out here. Where she walks, that's another run for the Taylor County Lady Cardinals. Swing and a miss. Strike three for out number two of the inning. Nope, they're going to give her a foul ball, actually. Currently a little bit of contact there at the plate. Count's going to remain 3-2 here. Again, full up on the bases for the Lady Cards. 
Kelly Cheatham going to wind a deal for the Indians, swinging a hard hit ball out into left center field. That one's going to get down. It's going to get against the fence. It's going to score one. It's going to score two. It's only going to score two. I have that in the ball from the Riley from the fence all the way over to third to hold that one. But again, not before the Lady Cardinals able to throw two more runs up on the board. Taylor County leading this one 10 to 1 over the Indians. That scoreboard update brought to you by Dare County PVA. Landon Edwards, be sure to visit the website at darepva.com. Dare County PVA. Landon Edwards and his office, proud supporters of Dare County Athletics. Come to bat now is going to be Brad Street, number eight for the Lady Cards. 0 for 1 on the night so far. That pitch going to miss the march. So we'll get one out. Set the stage for you here. Count 1 0. Got one away. We're in the top of the third. So we're kind of leading soon to 1 over the Indians. Base runners on second and third. Kelly Cheatham on the lever for the Indians. She's going to wind and deal, swing and a miss, strike one. And count's going to go a one here, or one one here. Brad Street going to step back into the batter's box for the Lady Cards. Kelly Cheatham going to step back onto the rubber. She's going to wind and deal. That one going to be down low. Count's going to go two one. Don't forget, you're listening live on the radio or on our website or through our apps. You want some video coverage? Go check us out on YouTube. That's WAIN Radio on YouTube, where we have live video and audio coverage of this game available. Kelly Cheatham, the pitch, is going to catch the corner of the plate. going to be running up for a strike. Count's going to go 2-2. Two, two. Number eight, Brad Street, going to step back into the box for the Lady Cards. Cheatham going to wind and deal. Swing a hard hit ball past the first baseman. It's going to make it its way out into right field. That's going to score one run, possibly score. Yup, score two run, and the base runner will advance from first to second as well. Two more runs up on the board for the Taylor County Lady Cardinals here in the top of the third inning. Taylor County 12, but Derrick County 1. Now at second for the Taylor County Lady Cardinals. We got one away here. Kelly Cheatham going to set back up. She's going to wind and deal. That one's going to catch the top of the strike zone. Count's going to go 0 1. If you are a corner pitcher, you would love this umpire as uh, if anything's close on that strike zone line, he will do it. He's going to wind. That's why he going to go 0 2. Number 34, Curry in the batter's box for the Taylor County Lady Cardinals. She's a right handed batter, worse than a right handed pitcher. Base runner on second for the Taylor County Lady Cardinals. O2 is the count here at the plate. We have one away here in the top of the third inning. Cheat him the pitch, slow roller. That's going to go down the third baseline and hang foul. Count O2 here. Go cheat him racking up already 34 pitches here in this inning. Curry going to step back into the batter's box for Lady Cards. Cheatham going to wind and deal for the Indians. And that's a blooper out behind shortstop in no man's land. And that will get down and score the run from second base. That's another run for your Taylor County Lady Cardinals. They're leading here in the top of the third over at Dare County, 13 to 1. Coming to bat now is going to be number 20, Cundiff. If you have a base runner on first for the Taylor County Lady Cardinals, Indians only have one out here in the top of the third inning. And the ball will get by Gist, and the base runner will advance from first to second.
kind of one for two to make so far. First pitch rung up and the ball. Two one miss on the outside. That one's gonna be a ball as well. Count's gonna go too low here. Going to step back into the batter's box for Lady Cardinals. She's going to wind and deal. Little Jolifer hit out into foul territory down the third baseline. It's going to be run up for a strike. That's going to go 2 1 here. Ball, one strike, one away here. Top of the third inning. Base runner at second for the Taylor County Lady Cardinals. Left right on the from your Indians, West, White, Chief, Brown, and Outboard, Wiley, Fergan, and Wall. She I'm going to wind and deal. That's a blooper hit over the head of the third baseman into no man's land, and that will score the base runner from second and put another run on the board for your Taylor County Lady Cardinals. Taylor County leading the Indians 14 to 1 here in the top of the third inning. Base runner will hold up at first on that hit. Come to bat now. It's going to be Clayton, number five, one for two on the night so far. Kelly Cheatham, 40 pitches deep now here in her first inning. She's going to take her son. She's going to step back onto the rubber. She's going to wind and deliver. It's going to cast the inside corner and be rung up for a strike. Count's going to go 0-1. Page runner at first for the Taylor County Lady Cardinals here in the top of the third. They put six runs up, 14 to 1. That one's going to be fouled back. The count's going to go 0 2. It's number five, Clayton, and the batter's box. Kelly Cheatham going to wind and deal. Going to catch the corner of the plate. Rings her up. Catches her looking. Strike three. Out number two of the inning. A strikeout brought to you by Cumberland Pipeline. Here's another reason to cheer. Cumberland Pipeline. Well, Jimmy Athletics, they stand alongside our community. Strength success on and off the field. Coming up to that now going to be Sprouse for the Taylor County Lady Cardinals. Let's be base runner at first for him. It's from Mr. Mark. It's going to throw down the first. Nothing happening there. Counting. Number 23, Sprouts in the batter's box for the Taylor County Lady Cardinals. One for three on the night. Cheatham going to wind and deal. That one's going to miss the mark. Counts going to go 2 0. Kelly Cheatham going to wind and deal. This pitch going to catch the corner of the plate on the outside. Rung up for a strike. Count's going to go 2 1. Number 23, Sprouls back into the batter's box. A right handed batter first seeing the right handed pitcher. Kelly Cheatham swing a slow roller over to Hannah. She's able to gobble it up. Goes over to first. Able to get the out. That's out number three of the inning. But not before Taylor County able to throw six more runs up on the board. We're going to make our way to the bottom of the third. Taylor County leading this one over the Adair County Lady Indians, 14-1. to You're listening to your home for the Adair County Athletic Network, 1270 AM, 101.9 FM, WAIN Sports Radio. Going to JL Gate family of farmers and ranchers across the U.S. Their round pins are trusted day in and day out. Now, exclusive to JL Gate, they introduce a new feature, the power code option. Elevate your round pin and farm eight orders with their stone code finishes, including JL Gray, Dark Green, Red, and Gloss Black, available for a small upcharge. Whether you opt for painted, powdered, or galvanized coating, they are dedicated to ensuring your purchase perfectly suits your needs. 
Hi, this is Kylie McCovens. I'm a Greene County High School graduate and a Lindsay Wilson College student. I'm well on my way to earning my degree in human services and counseling. At LWC, I've met new people, had the opportunity to become involved on campus, and I have loved being a part of campus ministry. Visit today and you will want to make Lindsay Wilson College your new home too. Call the admissions office at 270-384-8100 or email us at admissions at lindsay.edu. Good evening, Indian fans, and welcome back to 1270 AM, 1019 FM, WAIN Sports Radio, your home for the Adair County Athletic Network. Austin Armstrong alongside the Adair County Lady Indian softball team here at home today. Again, as your Adair County Indians are taking on the Taylor County Lady Cardinals. We're here in the bottom of the third inning. Taylor County leading this one 14 to 1 over the Indians. Coming up to that now is going to be number 23, Shelby Riley, the left fielder. That first pitch going to swing and miss. Count's going to go 0 1. <laughs> Remaining on the mound for Taylor County, going to be number 21, Edwards. Wads deals, lays down the bunt down the third baseline. She's going to try to beat that out at first, not able to do so, and that will be out number one of the inning. Now it's bat, number 20. Coming to bat now, going to be the top of the lineup for your Derrick County Lady Indians. Number 20, Gist, the catcher. <laughs> He is going to step into the batter's box. The pitch swings. Bounds that one off. Count's going to go 0-1 here. Edwards is going to wind and deal the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Count's going to go 0-2. Again, Taylor County leading this one here in the bottom of the third inning. Taylor County 14, Adair County 1. The pitch. I fly ball going to go behind us out of play. Count's going to remain 0-2. Edwards for the Taylor County Lady Cardinals. Only 31 pitches, three innings in so far. She's going to wind and deal. Yes, swing. She's going to get jammed up. It's going to be a swinging bunt, and she's going to try to beat it out at first and does so safe down at first. Fantastic job by Gist on just uh, taking the ball, taking what you got, and making the best out of it. Got jammed up in the hands, and unfortunately was a swinging bunt, but Fortunately for her, able to beat it out with the speed. Base runner at first now for the Lady Indians. Coming up to bat now is going to be number 17, Bergen. The pitch. Going to miss the mark on the outside and low. Hope going to be rung up as a ball. Count's going to go 1 0 here. Bergen going to step back into the batter's box. Left headed batter. Swings, fouls that one down the third baseline. Count's going to go 1-1. One, one. One, one, one away. Base runner at first for the Indians here in the bottom of the third. Edwards going to deliver for the Lady Cars. Flexes a bunt, going to miss it. It's going to have a throw down to first. No action happening there. Going to be rung up at a strike at the plate. Count's going to go 1-1. One, one. Bergen back into the batter's box for the Lady Indians. The pitch. It's going to miss the mark way outside. Count's going to go 2-2. Two, two. The pitch, swing. That one's going to be a slow roller over to second base. She's going to funnel it over to second. They're going to try to turn two. Not able to do so. We'll get the force at second base. But Bergen able to beat out the double play attempt at first. 
That's going to bring up Hannah West for the Indians. Case runner at first, two way here in the bottom of the third. The pitch, a swing, slow roller to second base. She fumbles that one, able to get it over to first, and it is in time for out number three of the inning. We're going to make our way to the top of the fourth inning. Taylor County leading this one 14 to 1 over the Lady Indians. When we come back, we'll have the top of the fourth inning for you here on your home for the Adair County Athletic Network, 1270 AM, 101.9 FM, WAIN Sports Radio. Kentucky Sanitation Services is a waste management company with solutions tailored to each client's needs. They provide garbage dumpster services for your business, home, or farm, as well as a variety of roll-off boxes from 10 cubic yards all the way up to 40 cubic yards. They have containers that can handle any size job from cleaning out your basement or for a large demolition project. Call 270-634-4637 or check them out on Facebook at Kentucky Sanitation Services. Hi, this is Cameron Smith. I'm a Camelsville High School graduate and a Lindsey Wilson College student. I'm well on my way to earning a degree in secondary education. At LWC, I've met new people, become involved on campus, and I have loved being part of the sports programs. Visit today and you will want to make Lindsey Wilson College your new home too. Call the admissions office at 270-384-8100 or email us at admissions at lindsey.edu. <laughs> Good afternoon, Indian fans, and welcome back to 1270 AM, 101.9 FM, WAIN Sports Radio. Austin Armstrong alongside the Adair County Lady Indian softball team here at home, taking on the Taylor County Lady Cardinals. We're here in the top of the floor, Taylor County leading the Indians 14-1 to 1 right now. Ellie Cheatham will remain on the mound for the ending. The sister behind the plate by Gist. The first pitch going to be under the feet of the Lady Cardinals as she's able to jump over that one. In the batter's box is number 21, Edwards, for the Lady Cardinals. She's one for three on the night so far. Ellie Cheatham, 46 pitches deep. She winds and deals. That one's going to miss up and away. Count's going to go 2-0. Ellie Cheatham going to take her sign. She's going to wind and deal. That's going to catch the inside of the play. He's going to be rung up for a strike. Count's going to go 2 1 here. Edwards going to step back into the batter's box for Taylor County. Cheatham going to step back onto the rubber. She's going to wind and deliver. Swing, and that one's going to be down the third baseline foul. Count's going to go to twos. We are here in the top of the fourth inning. Taylor County leading this one 14 to 1. The count two two. That one's going to miss the mark high. Count's going to go full up here. Hard hit ball down the third baseline. Going to remain foul. Count's going to stand 3 2. Kelly Cheatham taking her stuff from the dugout. Edwards going to step back into the batter's box. A right handed batter versus the right handed pitcher. Cheatham going to wind and deliver. It's going to miss the mark on the inside count. That was third. That was the fourth that ball. The batter will take left her left base left. down at first. Coming to bat now, going to be number 11, Gupton, 0 for 2 for the night. <laughs> Going to have a pinch runner for the Taylor County Lady Cardinals. No outs. Base runner at first for the Lady Cardinals. <laughs> 
Cheatham going to wind and deliver. Rung up for a strike. Count's going to go 0 1. Ellie Cheatham going to wind and deliver. That one's going to miss the mark. Gets going to throw down the first. Nothing happening there. Count's going to go 1 1. Kelly Cheatham going to deliver. It's going to miss the mark. Gets going to go down to first again. Nothing happening. Count's going to go 2 1. Taylor County leading this one over the Indians 14 to 1. The count 2 1 here at the plate. Base runner at first for Lady Cards. No out. Swing. That one's going to be fouled straight back. Count's going to go up to twos. Shelton going to step back into the batter's box for the Taylor County Cardinals. Cheatham going to wind and deliver. It's going to miss the mark. Count's going to go full up. Jumps him back into the batter's box. Ellie Cheatham delivers that pitch. Swing and a miss. Nope, foul ball. Count's going to remain the same. 3 2, no outs. Base runner at first for the Lady Cardinals. Again, we're here in the top of the fourth inning. Taylor County leading 14 to 1 over the Indians. Full count. Cheatham delivering the crucial pitch. Down the third baseline. It's going to remain foul. Count's going to stand. And a huge thank you going out to our game night sponsor, that being the Adair County School District. <laughs> At Derrick County School District, bringing you the baseball and softball action here on 1270 AM, 101.9 FM this season. Cheatham going to wind and deal, swing and miss, strike three for out number one of the inning. And that strikeout brought to you by Cumberland Pipeline. Hey, here's another reason to cheer. Cumberland Pipeline is a proud supporter of Derrick County Athletics. They stand alongside our community, fostering growth and success on and off the field. That's going to put one out up on the board for the Indians here. Taylor County Cardinals have a base runner at first. LG going to wind and deliver. That one's going to be fouled back. Count's going to go 0-1. In the batter's box for the Taylor County Lady Cardinals is going to be number 24, Reed. One for three on the night so far. Kelly Cheatham going to step back onto the rubber. She's going to wind and deliver. Foul that one back. Count's going to go 0-2. A three-pitch out right here would be huge for the Indians. Got a feeling you're either going to see the heater on the outside or the off-speed on the inside. Yes, sets up on the outside. And, oh. Foul ball. Again, kind of hard to tell what happened there. I think she kind of got jammed up on the inside. Number 24, Reed, going to step back into the batter's box for the Taylor County Cardinals. Again, base runner on first for the cards. 0-2 the count at the plate. That one's going to miss the mark on the inside. Count's going to go 1-2. Adair County in the blue tops, white bottoms, red socks. Taylor County in the red tops, black bottoms, and red socks today. That wind has died off significantly today as well. She's going to wind and deal. That one's going to hit, be hit in between the third base and the shortstop. That's going to make its way out into left field. And the base runner from first will hold up at second. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So that is a single for Reed, and we'll advance that base runner from first to second. Base runner is now on first and second. You have one away, top of the fourth inning. Coming up now, number 12, Kays for the Taylor County Lady Cardinals. She's one for three tonight. 
Cheatham at 66 pitches right now here in her second inning. That pitch going to be right down the middle, going to be rung up for a strike. Count's going to go 0 1. Kelly Cheatham going to take her sign. She winds and delivers swing and a high fly ball back in no man's land. And not able to come up with it. Kelly Cheatham going to grab it and sling it over to third base. Able to get her with the force at third. That's out number two for the inning. Fantastic job by Ellie Cheatham on backing up Kemp there. Kemp, unfortunately, not able to get uh, the ball secured. Able to get a glove on it, but was not able to get her body turned around and to secure that ball. Cheatham able to pick it up off the ground and wing it over to third base for that force out. That's going to put base runners on first and second. And excuse me, that's not Cheatham. That is Bergen out there in center field as Cheatham is now in the ring for the Indians. Cheatham going to wind and deliver. That one's going to catch the corner of the play, be rung up for a strike. Count's going to go 0-1. Fantastic job by Bergen. Excuse me, as she was the one backing up Kemp out there and was able to wing that one over to third for that fourth out. Again, base runners at first and second now. Two away. The count 0-1 at the plate. Cheatham going to wind and deliver. Bear. Misses on the outside. Count's going to go 1 1. Taylor County leading this one here in the top of the fourth inning, 14 to 1. Taylor yeah. County looking to put the third out here at the plate and then get in there and score a few runs to stop this one from ending. That one's going to be down in the dirt. Gets going to be able to get it. The runner's going to go from second to third. No play down at third. Runner is going to be safe. Base runner from first will also advance the second. Base runners now on second and third for the Taylor County Lady Cardinals. We've got two away here. The count is two and one at the plate. Cheatham going to deliver the pitch. That one's going to be on the inside. Not going to give it to her. Three ones the count now. In Brad Street, number eight in the batter's box for the Taylor County Lady Cardinals. She is one for two on the night so far. She don't now at 72 pitches. This will be her 73rd pitch in her second inning here. Ellie Cheatham winds and delivers. That's going to miss the mark and will walk the batter. Chase is now going to be full up for the Taylor County Lady Cardinals. Perfect. Come to bat now. It's going to be number 34, Curry, for the Taylor County Cards. Again, Taylor County leading this one 14 to 1 over the Indians. <laughs> Bergen was the starter on the mound for the Indians. Cheatham come in as relief last inning and Ish. pitch. It's going to be on the outside. Going to be rung up for a strike. Count's going to go 0 1. Curry going to step back into the batter's box. Cheatham going to take her son. Very important uh, batter right here for Ellie. She's going to wind and deliver. It's going to catch the corner on the inside. Going to be rung up for a strike. Count's going to go 0-2. <laughs> Kelly doing a really good job at working the outside and inside corner of the plate tonight. The pitch on the outside. Just going to get her to foul that one off down the first baseline. The count's going to remain the same, 0-2. Taylor County, 14 runs, 11 hits, and one error. Dare County, one run, one hit, and eight errors on the night. Cheatham, the pitch, high fly ball to shortstop, and securing that is Kemp for the Indians, and that will be out number three of the inning. Taylor County not able to throw up any runs on the board, but still leave this one 14 to 1 over your Dare County Indians. When we come back, we'll have the bottom of the fourth inning, a crucial inning for the Lady Indians. You're listening to your home for the Dare County Athletic Network, 1270 AM, 1019 FM, WAIN Sports Radio. 
Cumberland Pipeline is an underground utility contractor primarily concentrating on water and sewer pipelines uh, yeah, and pump stations for municipal water and wastewater districts. The company is rooted in faith and is committed to providing a quality service to their clients with honesty and quality projects. Cumberland Pipeline also offers services for wet tapping of water and water lines, insertion of valves on water mains, dirt work, site work, and land clearing. Visit the website cumberlandpipeline.com for more information. Bad hair day, bad day at the office, bad day behind the wheel. Hey, stuff happens, even to the best of us. At least your car insurance rate doesn't have to take a hit. Get Erie Rate Lock from Erie Insurance. Gives you a great rate that stays put until you change a car, driver, or your address. Plus, seriously good service. Now that's something to smile about. Your Erie agent in Columbia is Barger Insurance Agency. Get a quote at 270-384-2457. Erie Rate Lock does not guarantee continued insurance coverage. It's not available in all states. Good evening, Indian fans, and welcome back to 1270 AM, 101.9 FM, CBS Sports Radio, your home for the Adair County Athletic Network. All Star Strong alongside the Adair County Lady Indian softball team as we are taking on the Taylor County Lady Cardinals here at home. And I do apologize. We are no longer the CBS Sports Radio Network. We are the Infinity Sports Network, also known as WAI and Sports Radio, 1270 AM, 101.9 FM. Wall going to step into the batter's box for the Indians here in the bottom of the fourth. That third pitch going to be swung and missed. Count's going to be 1-2. Strike one swinging, ball one, and strike two swinging. For number eight, Wall, she's over one on the night. Catches her with an off-speed pitch, and that's going to be out number one for the inning. Taylor County leading this one over the Indians 14-1. If you have one away here, coming up to bat now, it's going to be White. Edwards going to remain, has remained on the mound for the Taylor County Lady Cardinals. That pitch going to come in, swing and a miss, strike one. Count's going to go 0-1. Edwards with only 41 pitches through three innings here, working on her fourth as we speak. That one's going to miss high and in. Count's going to go 1-1. Edwards the pitch, swing, high fly ball, out of play, down the third base line, going to be rung up for a strike, count's going to go one, two. It's number 11 White going to step back into the batter's box for your Deer County Lady Indians. Right-handed batter versus a right-handed pitcher. The count 1-2. Got one away here. The pitch going to miss up. Count's going to go 2-2. Two, two. Edwards is going to take her place back on the mound for the Lady Car. She winds and delivers. Swing and a miss. Strike three for out number two of the inning. To get a reminder, strikeouts this year brought to you by Cumberland Pipeline. Cumberland Pipeline boasts the team and expertise to handle any size underground utility contract with permission and efficiency. The, the project done right, give them a call 270-385-9000. Pitch, swing, and a miss. Strike one. It's going to be number 21, Brown, in the batter's box for the Lady Indians. 0 for 1 on the night so far. Edwards going to wind and deliver. Slow roller to the shortstop. Going to gobble that one up. Get over to first. And will secure the three up, three down here in the bottom of the fourth inning. We're going to make our way to the top of the fifth. Taylor County leading this one 14 to 1 over here. Dare Dare County Lady Indians. You're listening to your home for the Adair County Athletic Network, 1270 AM, 101.9 FM, WAIN Sports Radio. Stocks Market is a shell-branded store open to fuel your vehicle and your body. Located on Camelsville Road, Docs Market serves breakfast, lunch, dinner, and even has soft-served ice cream. Check out their huge menu with items like roasted chicken, burgers, chef salads, and many specials. You can see their full menu on their Facebook page. That's Doc's Market on Facebook and stay up to date on the latest specials. Doc's Market, food, fuel, and family. 
Columbia Pizza Hut prices are absolute trash. That's why we offer coupons, deals, and a reward program. Get two medium one-topping pizzas right now for 14 bucks. That's buy one, get one free. Personal Pam one topping is seven, but on our lunch special, you can get a personal Pam one topping and a drink for six dollars. Can I get it? Good evening, Indian fans, and welcome back to 1270 AM, 101.9 FM, WAIN Sports Radio. Austin Armstrong alongside the Adair County High School softball team today as we are taking on the Taylor County Lady Cardinals here at home. We're here in the top of the fifth inning. Taylor County leading this one 14 to 1 over your Indians. For three on the night so far. 